Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, a bit of a fix or fail. This is the MSI Radeon RX 470 4 gig OC edition, the armor version, uh, which was very popular a good few years ago. And uh, if you've seen one of these before, then you'll know what it's all about. This video essentially is going to be us trying to fix the card. Now this has actually been sent in to us by one of our uh, longest and most loyal viewers from Skystalker all the way over in Canada. So it's been shipped over to us. Uh, basically he bought it and couldn't get it to work. So various errors. I think he bought a bunch of different cards at a similar time and I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with this one, but effectively it doesn't work or at least it appears it doesn't work. So we're gonna go through today do some testing, see what the deal is. Potentially we may have to flash the BIOS. It could have been a mining card at some point in its life. It might be just completely dead. So this video could be a complete disaster, but obviously uh, we'll find out as we go along. Hopefully we can resurrect a card and get it working again, because it's a shame to actually have something like this and actually kind of have it wasted or just have to throw it away or sell it as spares or repairs. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to basically just put it into a system and see what it reports. Now we've got our test bench system or our donor system here. This was actually provided motherboard and processor from Colin Hilton. So thank you very much, Colin. This is an Intel i7 9700K. So it does have integrated graphics, which is perfect for what we're doing, because if we do plug it in and it's visible in device manager, but there's actually no output, then we can revert back to the onboard graphics and then we can obviously go in and try and flash the BIOS or at least see what's going on with it. So let's uh, let's get started, put it in the machine and see if we actually get anything at all out of it or errors, driver conflicts, that kind of stuff. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we've got a graphics card installed and just hooked up a uh, portable monitor here. It's powered from USB type C and you can see the uh, HDMI cables going to the bottom. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't go bang. Doesn't appear to at the moment and it appears to be getting some form of signal or no signal. So on the motherboard, oh, didn't like that. I was concerned then, I only pointed it and it turned off. So we'll see what happens. Maybe the boss is just reconfiguring itself for the fact there is a new monitor. Well, there we go. So there is no GOP graphics output protocol support detected in this card. Windows 8.1 10 feature settings in BIOS will be changed to disabled. So I think what this means is the card doesn't support UEFI, which I, uh, so I'm guessing we've gone into CSM mode now. Yep, yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try and get it on the screen so you can see it. So there we are, Windows 10 WHQL. We've now gone into CSM mode. So that's compatibility support mode. So in theory, hopefully now, this should actually work. So what we're gonna do is to come out of here. We'll save, well, it will update the changes and hopefully we might get a display now. Now we might get a display, but we may not be able to load the driver. So let's uh, see what happens here. Okay, so the GPU is actually outputting a signal. So that's a really good sign. We're getting an actual display, but will we be able to install the drivers in Windows? That is gonna be the other thing. So at the moment, we've now got a, uh, a display, as you can see, we're in Windows. Although that looks like it is uh, like 640 by 480 or something along those lines. So perhaps we do need to investigate this slightly further. So what I'm gonna do is to Go into Device Manager and uh, see what we got here. So let's go into Display Adapters, and yeah, we've got a Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Now that bit could be because the drivers are still loading. So I think what we should try and do next is actually download the drivers from the AMD site. We'll get the latest drivers and uh, we'll see if they take and see if we can actually get it to update and 
install it. Normally, because of how old this graphics card is, and we're using Windows 11, in theory, it should just show up. But maybe it needs a little bit of help on its way. So let's download the latest drivers, and we'll see if it will actually install. Okay, so I've restarted now, and um, I've actually forgot to press record at some point. So just to catch up, the original drivers, the 2321, didn't work, threw up an error. So I went back in, restarted the installer, and I've chosen the pro version of the driver. Let's see what happens here. See if it actually will carry on. Well, it looks like it's done something there. And this appears the screen has actually resized. So we're just going to click finish there. Let's close these windows. And yeah, we've still got an error there saying it can't start. So it doesn't want us to restart anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly restart and we'll see if it loads the driver. And that, that does not appear to have resized. So it looks like we've still got a problem there. Go into device manager. Yeah, still can't load it. So it looks like we're gonna be looking at a BIOS update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually connect up the computer now to my capture card. So we can go through the process and uh, you can see what it's all about. We will be using the Intel UHD graphics, the uh, 630, which is actually on the motherboard or processor, I should say rather. And we won't be plugging in the HDMI to the actual graphics card whilst we're trying to do the flashing process. I believe you can do, but it's probably best not to in this instance. We'll see what happens. So let me get that set up and uh, we'll be straight back. Okay, so we're back on the computer. I'm actually screen capturing this, so uh, hopefully it's okay. The resolution may be a bit off, but you'll get the general idea. So what we want to do is to go to the uh, Tech Power Up site. Uh, so go over to Tech Power Up, and what we want to do is, we've got the databases here. So what we want to do is to go to the VJ BIOS collection. And in here, this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff, or at least it should be. Um, all you would do is select your GPU to get the latest bar. So choose your brand. So this is an AMD Radeon, the card vendor. So that's the actual manufacturer. So in this instance, it's going to be MSI, which is down here. Then you've got the card model. So this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because you do have to get the right model. It's a slightly older one now, so we might have to do a little bit of scrolling here. Uh, RX 470, there we go. And BOSS version. Well, it looks like they're all the same one anyway, so we'll leave that. Bus interface we'll leave. Memory type, okay. Uh, memory size will reduce because I think there was, yeah, there was an 8 gig version as well. This is definitely a 4 gig. We'll choose 4 gig, and that is going to limit things down just ever so slightly. So we've got four BIOSes here. Uh, those two there are the Gaming X. These two here are the Armor OC. All we've got difference is the dates that they were actually uploaded or compiled. They're both the same version. So 0.115.1.050, etc., etc. So they're both identical versions. And you can see here, they're both the same core and memory clocks, both GDR5, etc. So the slightly newer one of the two is gonna be this one. So this was the 3rd of November, 2016. A little while back now. Uh, if we go in, we can click on details. It'll tell us more about it and also give you a picture of the card just so you make sure that you've got the right one. So it says there UEFI supported, but it seems that it didn't. So maybe the BOSS update will actually allow that. Or maybe that's why it didn't work because the BOSS that's on there is a very bad BOSS and doesn't support UEFI. So that'd be interesting to see how that changes. Got the hash keys there, etc. It tells you more about the actual driver, what it does etc 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 so we're going to go ahead and actually download that now and there is our download done so what we need now is also a tool to enable us to actually flash that okay so we've got our bars file for the graphics card so next we need a method of flashing it there is a new version of the amd db flash it's basically a command line one so that's a little bit tricky this is an older card so it doesn't really need it so we're going to actually use the uh the graphical interface version as you can see what it looks like here and we're going to download it here and there we go that started downloading so let's go into our downloads folder and we can then extract that folder and 
And there we go, there is our flashing utility. So we'll run it as administrator. I'll click yes. And this will run through the uh, installation, etc. And then we can choose to open it. So there is our folder there. Flash win, so we'll just right click on that and run as administrator. And there we are. So it's picking up our ATI Radeon. That is selected as our active video device. What we want to do is, first of all, it's probably a good idea to save the existing BIOS just to be on the safe side. So we'll call this old dot BIOS. And I'm just going to save that to the desktop. There we go, so that's saved just in case we ever need it. Uh, we can continue now. So the next thing to do is to load an image. So we've already downloaded our ROM. I've actually put that on the desktop as well. So there is our MSI RX 470, four gigabyte ROM. So we'll highlight that, choose open, and then basically just a matter of choosing program. So there we go, it's currently flashing. And there we go, your VBOS was programmed successfully. So now what we can do is to reboot. It says it wants to reboot anyway, so we can go ahead and do that now. Hopefully when it restarts, we'll go into Device Manager and see if there's still an exclamation mark by it or not. With any luck, there won't be. So Windows is reloaded. We're currently still connected to the integrated. So let's have a quick look in Device Manager and fingers crossed. Display adapters, looks like it's gonna be okay. And there we go. There is our Radeon TM RX 470 graphics and currently doesn't have anything there shading that out. Although it seems to be still doing something, jumping around there. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna close down the system, disconnect the graphics card, plug back into the RX 470 and see what we can get on the desktop. Right, so moment of truth. Now plugged in to the Radeon graphics card, waiting for a signal for the uh, Elgato. Fingers crossed. And that appears to look as it should do. So let's uh, right click. There we go, AMD Software Pro Edition. We'll do standard. And that appears to be, uh, appears to be working. Yep, there we go, there's our GPU, our Radeon TM RX 470 primary graphics, which appears to be running. We go back into device manager and there we go. Everything looks to be running fine. So let's uh, do a very quick test just to make sure it's working. We'll run a quick benchmark. We'll get Unigine Heaven downloaded. And that appears to be running. I think we're actually in 4K at the moment. So that's probably not ideal for this particular instance but it appears to be running and it hasn't crashed or given any artifacts. And we have, uh, well, at least we have double digit figures for the actual benchmark. No bizarre artifacting on the screen. So I think we can actually chalk that up as being a success. So there we go, up and running. And uh, as you can see, installed on our little system here, seems to be running absolutely fine. I will be doing considerably more benchmarks and testing on this just to see what it's like. I might actually do a specific review video on it if anybody's interested to see how well the Radeon RX 470 can actually perform here in 2023, almost into 2024, how scary. Anyway, massive shout out to Skystalker for sending this all the way over from Canada to us, much appreciated. And um, actually, please see, it was a relatively straightforward thing. 
although the original command line version of the new Flash utility seems a little bit daunting for some people. Fortunately, this is a slightly older card now, so you can use the older WinFlash versions, which I will try to link in the video description. So if you have similar problems, maybe you've got a Code 43 issue with your graphics card, maybe it's an old mining card and it's got the wrong BIOS on it, or it just has a corrupted BIOS for some reason, hopefully, and potentially, this could remedy your card and give you another working GPU, which is awesome. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the channel notification, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.